walk away, I heard the first gunshot. Um, I didn't know I was hit. I knew my body felt different. Um, and in my mind, I was counting bullets. A new exhibit is highlighting the victims of violence across Louisville. This is Wave News at 11. I'm John Bull. U of L Health is teaming up with the Speed Art Museum to tell the stories of more than a dozen people who have survived traumatic experiences in Louisville. Wave News reporter David Ochoa talked to one of them about her story. Yeah, almost every night we bring you news of shootings, stabbings, car accidents, and more. But those stories don't always end once we report them. Sometimes they go on, and the victims in them live on. It's important to remember there is a life after the traumatic experience that happened. Connor McCowiak and Scotty Perry work together to create the exhibit that features 16 trauma survivors. Perry took the pictures and McCowiak wrote the stories. One of those stories is Valentina Boyd's. His mood just changed. It went from being happy-go-lucky to like a demon possessed his body. On September 18, 2021, Boyd and her ex-boyfriend were at Wyandotte Park. She tried to walk away from him after he had a sudden mood change, but he shot her. He unloaded the whole gun, five bullets on me, um, three grazed my right side, and then the, the fourth bullet, I believe they said, hit me in the hip and came out an inch from my femur. The incident changed her. She says she had to fight off some demons within herself. I secluded myself for a long time till one day something just popped inside of me like, you can't do this. You know, I feel that the great man above spared my life for a reason, and that is to be a voice for the women who are too scared, and there's the women that can no longer speak. Even though she's part of the exhibit, Boyd still hadn't seen her piece yet. We got her reaction as she read and saw it for the first time. They did, didn't they? <laughs> What do you think? Connor did a really good job writing that. Scotty did wonderful taking those pictures. Boyd calls Ellen and Stephanie, the two women in this photo, angels. They were playing pickleball in the park when Boyd was shot, and they rushed to her aid and literally gave her the shirts off their backs. I knew that there was a woman on the right side of me holding pressure on those wounds, but I never knew who was on the left side of this bench is where they sent me. And it was Ellen. And Stephanie took, I knew that you can see in the video, they take their shirts off and Stephanie said this is the actual shirt. Boyd says she searched for them for a year and a half, but it was Perry who was able to connect them again. And here they are reunited once again in front of the exhibit for the moment that brought them all together in the first place. Boyd's story was just one of many at the event. The exhibit is a culmination of four years of work. David Ochoa, Wave News. Okay, thank you, David.